Hi guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Today I'm going to show you how I made this miniature bathroom. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment or subscribe to my channel. As you guys know, I am now on Patreon and want to say a big thank you to my patrons for supporting me so I can keep this channel going. To make the bathroom tiles, I am cutting paperboard in small rectangles that are 5 cm long and 3 cm wide. I am using a regular glue stick to attach them to a piece of cardboard and then apply a layer of clear drying glue before painting to make sure the edges stay down and to avoid the paperboard from bending. I have decided to paint the tiles white. Now repeat the same steps on a section of a second wall and make a cut along the edges of the tile. Make sure not to cut all the way through because you're not supposed to cut the wall into two pieces and now insert a sheet of clear plastic like this to make a shower door. For the next step you can also use paper or just paint the wall in the color of your choice. I've decided to use an old placemat made of cork because I like the texture. Now glue the walls to a third piece of cardboard using hot glue and make a shower floor using paperboard. Here you can see me applying a layer of clear drying glue or varnish before painting everything white. I am also using paperboard to cover the edges of the room and to make the floor tiles. I've decided to wrap them in paper that looks like marble but that's obviously up to you. You could also just glue them to the floor and then paint them in the color of your choice. As you can see I'm applying clear varnish on top because I want the tiles to be shiny. I'm using a painted paperboard strip to make the skirting board and popsicle sticks and a wooden craft stick to make the shower handles. Paperboard, a drinking straw, hot glue and a toothpick to make the shower head. And a small piece of a drinking straw, hot glue, a wire and a popsicle stick to make the hand shower. As you can see I'm closing the opening of the straw with hot glue and once it has dried carefully poke a hole into the drinking straw and place it on a piece of silver wire after bending the wire into a u-shape. Now cut off a piece of a lollipop stick and place it on the wire as well. Now I'm painting everything silver before gluing it to the bathroom walls and I'm also adding shower shelves by gluing paperboard triangles into the corner. This flat push pin or a thumb tag is supposed to be the train. To make the sink you will need cardboard, paperboard, wood that is easy to cut or a paperboard wrapped in paper that looks like wood, varnish and paint. As you could see in the video I stacked three pieces of cardboard and I'm covering the edges with paperboard. And now apply glue to the bottom of the sink, bend a piece of paperboard and place it on top, secure the edges and cut off any excess. Glue another piece of paperboard on top, make sure that it's slightly bigger than the rest of the sink so that it lines up with the edge of the wooden trough. Now apply varnish and paint and cut the pieces of wood according to the measurements of your sink. I'm using hot glue to attach the wood to the sink. As you can see the edges line up with the edges of the countertop and I'm using another piece of cardboard to link the bottom ends of the side pieces. Now use more cardboard, paperboard and wood to make the drawer. To make the water tap, I'm cutting a small piece of a drinking straw that is about 2 cm long, wrap tape around a toothpick, cut a slice of the tip like this and glue it back on sideways. Carefully poke a hole into the straw and insert the toothpick. Now cut out a small piece of paperboard, glue it on top, insert another toothpick on the other end of the straw and paint everything silver. Poke two holes into the sink, one small and a bigger one to make the drain. I've decided to use silver marker to draw circles around each hole. And you'll also need a tiny piece of a wooden craft stick, which you have to paint silver as well to make the drain plug. 
I'm using a recycled tape roll, paperboard and white paint to make a toilet. Use push pins to make a toilet flush and painted toothpicks to make toilet paper and towel holders. If you would like to know how I made these miniature bathroom items like shampoo bottles and so on, you can follow the link in the info box. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!